Hey everyone, I'm Shamli and I welcome you all to this new video of Simply Learn on Ethereum versus Bitcoin. In the previous two videos, we covered what Bitcoin and Ethereum are. Let's proceed further and have a look at how they both differ from each other. Did you know there are more than 1600 cryptocurrencies worldwide? And among them, Bitcoin and Ethereum have always been the top two most popular cryptocurrencies in the world by market cap. Also, recently Ethereum as well as Bitcoin reached its all-time peak in worldwide trading. According to Decrypt.co, every day new companies like MeToo and PayPal are coming forward to invest in Bitcoin and Ethereum. On March 7, 2021, MeToo confirmed that it had purchased 40 million in Bitcoin and Ethereum. On the other hand, PayPal is about to launch a scheme where the public can purchase and sell cryptocurrencies initially featuring Bitcoin and Ethereum via PayPal digital wallet. But have you all ever wondered how they compare based on their similarities and differences in various aspects? Well, before moving any further, let's have a quick look at how Bitcoin and Ethereum originated and made a benchmark in the economic system worldwide. Bitcoin was first introduced in 2009 by Satoshi Nakamoto to resolve cyber attacks double spending and eliminate the middleman between the transaction. It led the first revolution of digital money, which enables transparent and decentralized peer-to-peer -peer transaction. On the other hand, Ethereum came into the picture years after Bitcoin. It was first introduced in the late 2013 by Vitalik Buterin. After that, it was very quickly and widely adopted because it offered a platform to build and run applications without any downtime, fraud or interference of any third party. Ethereum serves as a computing platform that enables its developers to build and deploy their decentralized application. Now, let's move ahead and see the difference between them which make them compete with each other in this economy. This video will cover individual aspects for comparing Ethereum and Bitcoin's performance in that particular field. First, we will look into the introduction of Ethereum and Bitcoin then the algorithm they follow, the programming language, mining process of Ethereum and Bitcoin, monetary policy, transaction and availability of these two cryptocurrencies. By time, Bitcoin has proved itself as a well-known cryptocurrency. However, Ethereum with different functionalities is giving a quite tough competition to Bitcoin. But before moving ahead, Let's have an introduction to Ethereum and Bitcoin. Ethereum is a platform that builds immutable smart contracts and application for its users without any centralized interference. For Bitcoin, it is an alternative to fiat money or physical currency. The main function of Ethereum is to provide its users or developers with a platform to build smart contracts using dApps or decentralized application. On the other side, Bitcoin only intends to be a medium of exchange of money and value stored in its blockchain network. Now let's get started and move towards the first comparison, which is algorithm. Ethereum uses the Ethash cryptographic algorithm for mining blocks in the Ethereum network. On the other hand, Bitcoin uses the SHE-256 hashing algorithm for mining blocks in the Bitcoin network. Ethash algorithm is mainly used during the proof of work function. Proof of work is a small piece of data that is difficult to generate but easy to validate and satisfy certain network requirements. SHE-256 algorithm helps Bitcoin users to protect all their sensitive data like private keys. Moving on, the programming language of Ethereum and Bitcoin. Ethereum uses Solidity. Solidity is a high-level programming language used by Ethereum for implementing smart contracts. But in terms of programming language, Bitcoin keeps it simple. Bitcoin uses C++ as its programming language. It is a stack-based programming language used to give Bitcoin software instructions on how to make transactions. As we have covered the algorithm and programming language of both cryptocurrencies, now let's take a look at the mining process of both. Mining is a process in which transactions made are validated and added to blockchain public ledger in blocks and the people mining these blocks are called miners. Ethereum miners mine the unvalidated transaction using the proof of work method, but it aims to switch to proof of stake because it will make its network more immune to centralization, energy efficient, and stronger support for its shared chain. 
On the other hand, similar to Ethereum, Bitcoin miners also use the proof of work method to mine unvalidated transactions. This method is enough to function in Bitcoin network worldwide. Now let's proceed towards the monetary policy of both cryptocurrencies. But let's first understand what monetary policy is. Monetary policy is known as the process of drafting, announcing and implementing the plan of actions taken by the competing monetary authority to control the money supply and achieve goals that promote sustainable economic growth. So, Ethereum's policy is defined by the reward paid out by its protocol. Ethereum's monetary policies are best described as minimum issuance to secure the network. Therefore, there is a constant trade-off between the transaction speed and security. But Bitcoin's monetary policy comprises of two parts, halving and block frequency. Halving event is when the reward of mining Bitcoin is cut in half and it also cuts the inflation rate. And the block reward is the number of Bitcoins you get if you successfully mine a blockchain block. The current block reward for Ethereum is 2 Ether per block. And for Bitcoin, the block reward is 12.5 Bitcoins per block. Also, every 14 seconds, a block of Ethereum is generated and one block of Bitcoin takes 10 minutes to generate. Monetary policies are considered to be fixed and non-inflationary. Due to this over time, mining blocks will become more difficult. Next is transactions. Ethereum is a little bit faster than Bitcoin with 30 transactions per second and it takes just a few minutes to confirm it. On the other side, Bitcoin's transaction speed is 5 transactions per second and it can take up to 60 minutes or more to confirm. Ether, the currency of Ethereum, acts as the fuel for Ethereum networks and Bitcoin is only used as the value for real-world transactions. To compete with already present electronic cash like credit cards and Google Pay, Ethereum and Bitcoin require higher productivity to attain widespread adoption. Not talking about the availability of both cryptocurrencies, Ethereum is not limited, but it can occasionally reduce due to large network upgrades. However, Bitcoin is limited to 21 million coins and as of today, 18 million Bitcoin is already used. But in the end, both Bitcoin and Ethereum being the top cryptocurrencies share a few similarities. Like both are decentralized and can be used to have a peer-to-peer -peer transaction. Proof of work also, both have a large network of independent nodes. Choose from over 300 in-demand skills and get access to 1,000 plus hours of video content for free. Visit SkillUp by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. Now, let's have a demo. Now, let's have a look at the media outlet website Coindesk, where we will see all stats related to Bitcoin and Ethereum in detail. Coindesk is a site specialized in digital currencies. It is used to explore the news and price data related to cryptocurrencies and also explains how cryptocurrencies contribute to the evolution of financial system worldwide. Now, see this graph. This graph shows the change in Bitcoin price in 24 hours duration. This graph shows the gradual change in the price of Bitcoin. It started from $64,439.29 on April 14 at 12 p.m. And right now, by April 15 at 6 a.m., it is at $63,189. The rate of change is minus 0.46%, which shows the change in the price of Bitcoin per hour. Let's have a look at this graph of Ethereum 2. The value of Ethereum started at $2,388.13 on April 14 at 12 p.m. And the current status on April 15 is positive with a value of $2,442.37 with an increasing rate of 4.67%. Down below, we have a metrics table that shows the change between the starting and ending value of Ethereum. The total supply of a cryptocurrency in 24 hours, the total number of transactions that occurred and the average transaction fee for all these transactions. Now. This graph shows the current status of cryptocurrency in USD dollars. We can also see its value according to any centralized currency like Euro or INR. This graph shows the constant trading change in the value of cryptocurrencies every moment. We can also access the data of trading from an hour to its lifetime. 
Now, this is all about Ethereum versus Bitcoin. We have almost reached the end of this video. If I missed anything important, do let me know in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this video on Ethereum versus Bitcoin and learned something new from it. If you like this video, then please do hit the like button. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates and videos from Simply Learn. Hi there! If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.